Hello everybody. Tell us, please, are you a fight lover? Today we're going to talk about fights, and more specifically about mixed martial arts, known as MMA. This is a relatively new sport that has become more and more popular over the years. Each fight is different. Some are huge fighters who, at first sight, could defeat any opponent. Do you want to take a look at them? Well, here we have the 10 biggest MMA fighters. Let's get it on. Hong Man Choi The Korean Monster, the Techno Goliath, the Korean Colossus. These are some of the names of Hong Man Choi, a North Korean sportsman, kickboxer, MMA fighter, and belt wrestler in his country. Take a look, huge, right? But having such height is not easy. This fighter suffers from acromegaly, a disease that causes some of the parts of the body to never stop growing. With a height of 7.15 feet and a weight of 365 pounds, Choi is one of the largest wrestling athletes in the world. And here we have some interesting facts about this man. The giant played the main character in a Korean film. And in addition, in April 2008, he was called to the Korean army to serve 26 months in the army. However, after failing two medical examinations, he was released from his military duty. But the main reason was not his disease, but a vision problem caused by a tumor in the brain. But seeing him fight, it looks as if he doesn't have any health problems. Giant Silva Paulo Cesar da Silva, known as the Giant Silva, is a Brazilian fighter, 7.18 feet high and 385 pounds. Initially, Silva was a basketball player, and he even got to participate in the Olympic with his country's team. He was also a famous Sao Paulo player in his country. In the Olympics, he wasn't in the main team, but he still played in four games. In the 1990s, Silva changed his image, letting his hair grow and joining the American Wrestling Association, or WWE, where he became famous as the tallest fighter in history. And finally, in 2003, Silva decided to debut in the MMA competitions, and it was a huge mistake. He was very famous, and that allowed the giant to fight from the start against very experienced opponents. And what followed next was a circus. Everyone was laughing at this giant who didn't have the technique to fight in MMA. Silva got hit in the knees, suffocated, overturned, and mistreated in all possible positions. The giant tried to defend using his big hands, but he only managed to withstand eight battles. After this, Paolo decided to return to the WWE, a quite reasonable decision. Chad Rowan Chad Rowan, better known as Akibono Taro, is a successful sumo fighter and professional wrestler. With a height of 6.6 .6 feet and an incredible weight of 496 pounds, this Hawaiian became famous for being the first non-Japanese person to receive the rank of great champion in sumo. The fights between him and the brothers Takanohana and Wakanohana increased the popularity of sumo in the late 80s and early 90s. But at the end of his brilliant career as a sumo fighter, Chad suffered some financial problems that forced him to seek a solution. Rowan decided to earn a few dollars by participating in the MMA and the K1, but unfortunately he failed. But the fights in which he participated were a must-see. Check it out. Emmanuel Yabra this giant began as a professional sumo wrestler and then participated in fights of judo, wrestling, and even in American football. Yabra entered the Guinness World Records for being the heaviest sportsman in history. His total weight is 600 pounds, with a height of 6.6 feet. In 1995, this American fighter won the Sumo World Championship. After ending his career, Yabra became the ambassador of sumo in the USA, in addition to participating in several films. In the early 90s, Yabra was named the best sumo wrestler in the world, but he wanted to keep fighting, so he decided to participate in the MMA. His debut in the UFC, however, was a failure. In his short career in the MMA, Emmanuel took part in three fights, winning one of them by crushing the opponent to the ground and forcing him to surrender. Do nothing and win, quite an achievement. In our opinion, this fighter relies more on his physical characteristics than on his technique. Alexandru Lungu Meet Alexandru Lungu, a famous Romanian boxer and judo fighter who also entered the world of mixed martial arts. He weighs 375 pounds and is 6 feet tall, and that is the reason why he always participates in the categories of heavyweight fighters. 
During his career in the MMA, he won 10 out of 15 matches. Lungu debuted professionally in the MMA on October 23, 2005 in a Pride match against James Thompson. What do you think was the result? Lungu knocked out Thompson in the first few seconds, but he quickly got tired and in the end, Thompson won. However, the following year in a fight against Mark Buchanan, Lungo won and thus began a brilliant career. It's quite difficult to fight a heavyweight, right? Alan Karaev This fighter can truly be considered a big guy. At birth, Alan weighed 15 pounds, and after six months he weighed 40 pounds. Can you imagine? By the time he turned 18, Alan had grown more than many wrestlers and could participate only in heavyweight categories. Alan's sporting career began with arm wrestling, where he achieved great success. In spite of this, Karayev wanted to practice sumo and began little by little. In 2002, he became world champion of amateur sumo. And in 2005, he decided to try his luck in the mixed martial arts, starting a career in this sport with fights against strong opponents. His career in the MMA counts only five fights and lasted less than a year. The sportsmen prefer to focus on sumo fights. In our opinion, the Japanese sport goes more with the personality of Karayev. However, their fights in other sports are still fascinating. Eric Scott Esch Maybe you've heard this name before. Eric Scott Esch, also known as Butterbean, is an American heavyweight boxer, as well as a kickboxer and mixed martial arts fighter. He appears in many boxing simulators as a character in a costume with the colors of the American flag. He also had a cameo in the film Jackass the Movie. When he started practicing boxing, everyone told him that he could not become a real boxer, especially because of his body's complexion. However, Eric was crowned World Boxing Champion of the International Boxing Association. Years later, this burly fighter became interested in mixed martial arts and began fighting at the Pride FC. Out of 26 matches, he won 17. So we can say that Ash attracted a lot of attention to his person and showed everyone that a chubby guy can not only fight but also win. Yoshihiro Takayama This Japanese wrestler also has impressive dimensions. He's 6.4 feet tall and weighs 279 pounds. As a young man, Takayama was involved in rugby and visited a survival school. In November 1991, he joined the UWFI organization. For some time, like other young fighters, he could only train with older fighters or help them during the fights. In 1992, he had his first fight as a Bushido professional but lost it. Although Bushido was very popular in Japan at the time, Takayama was not great at it. He succeeded later when he tried his luck in a Pride FC tournament. During the tournament, he fought three times, and he lost all three fights. However, his performance was noticed, and thanks to these tournaments, he got many fans. But why? Well, you can understand it only by seeing the struggles in which he participated. For example, it seems to us that the Fry Takayama match is one of the most impressive in the history of Pride FC. Check it out. Semi Shilt now we're going to tell you about Semi Schilt, a professional kickboxer and MMA fighter from Holland. This monster has been world champion of the K1 Grand Prix four times, and is also the only wrestler who's won this championship three times in a row. In addition, this colossus has been several times world and Europe champion in karate, and has also been an actor. He appeared in the movie Transporter 3. I'm the big one. He began to participate in mixed fighting fights in the Japanese organization Pankrase in May 1996. At first, he didn't do very well, but three and a half years later, he was able to achieve the title of champion of the organization in a fight against Yuki Kondo. In May 2001, Semi made his debut in the UFC. In that occasion, he defeated Pete Williams, a very famous and important fighter at that time. But later, he was defeated by a young amateur fighter, so he decided to leave the UFC. During his career in the MMA, Semi managed to participate in 41 fights, of which he won 26. Bob Sapp Robert Malcolm Sapp is a semi-retired American kickboxer, mixed martial arts fighter, and professional wrestler. His first MMA fight took place in Yokohama on April 28, 2002, and he won. 
The enormous and athletic Sap impressed the Japanese public, and he was invited to join big organizations like the K-1 and the Pride FC. Later, in August 2002, with only four months of experience in the MMA, he fought against Antonio Rodrigo Naguera. Thanks to his physical strength and small repertoire of technical tricks, Bob gave the Brazilian the hardest fight of his career, although he did end up losing. But the fact that a rookie could compete with the best Pride FC fighter made him famous among fans of this sport. Although Sapp had some flaws in his technique, he defeats his rivals thanks to his size, and that's why we include him in our list. Amazing gadgets, upcoming technologies, incredible inventions, and other cool stuff related to high tech on TechZone. Subscribe, you won't regret it. The link is on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.